Today, let's talk about managing communications. And we're talking about the stresses of agency life. And one of the huge stresses for us all is a constantly busy inbox and a ringing phone and text messages. And we are now in a society where we can be contacted not only via the old fashioned mediums, but we can also be contacted via Facebook. We can be tweeted at. There is communication coming at us from all angles and it can be completely overwhelming. It's one of those things that I think for agency owners and for people within an agency is probably be one of the biggest causes of stress, of anxiety and of frustration because you feel like you're constantly talking to people, you're constantly jumping on telephone calls, you're constantly answering really complicated emails and you feel like you're getting no time to do the real stuff, no time to grow your business, no time to work on the projects, no time to do the things that you love. And oh my gosh, it is frustrating. It really is. And I am speaking as someone who struggles with this, has struggled with it all the time for years and years and years. How the hell can you manage communication in a time where there is communication coming at you left, right and center? And I'll tell you a story. Um, I started to quote unquote manage my communication over time when my business partner, Tim, in my other company, Event Engine, sent me a message just about three or four years ago. And he sent me a message. I was away, working away, and I was on my laptop and Skype messages were popping up for him, uh, from him. And he was popping a few messages to me. And you know how someone will write a line and think of something else and then send something else. And I got all stressed out. I was like, what are you doing? And I, I, I gave him a really irritable response after a few messages, because I was doing something completely different. And I said, stop messaging me, I'm doing this, blah, 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 blah. blah. Anyway, it was kind of awkward and we had a, a call afterwards and, and Tim said, although he'd sent me those messages, I actually manage the communication and that means I manage whether or not I respond. I can actually see and register that those messages have come in, but I do not have to stop what I'm doing. So I was actually working on a project at the time and I did not need to stop and look at those messages. I could have simply changed my status to away. I could have gone offline and focused on what I was doing. So since then, I've been on a journey trying to work out how I can manage my communications more effectively. For example, at the head office, we do have a line that rings a couple of times. And if one of us is in the office or we're not on a call or we are not in the depths of a major project, then yes, we will answer the phone. Otherwise, it will actually go through to our call center who will take a message and email us the details. And more often than not, it could have been a sales call or it could have been a message that somebody said, well, you know what, actually, I'm going to email them anyway. Um, also, with regards to my cell phone, I have a strict rule now that I do not answer the phone after 5 p.m. in an evening. And also, again, if my phone is ringing midday, this is my cell phone now for you US guys. If my cell phone is ringing midday and I'm in a meeting or I am working on something, I do not have to answer that phone. There are emergency lines for our clients to contact us on. There are support desks, etc. So when my cell phone rings, it means I do not have to stop what I am doing because the minute I stop what I'm doing, it's interrupting my flow. It's taking my mind off the project that I'm working on. It could be a long call because sometimes you will get the odd client. We love you all clients, but some of you can talk. <laughs> and you know, it could be a long conversation. It could be a conversation that I struggle to get off. And again, it's gonna take my mind off what I've been doing. So again, I don't have to answer calls all the time. There is voicemail so that you can get back to people. And in the voicemail as well, you can educate people to go ahead and send you an email. Then with email, you know, we have emails coming in all the time. And one of the things that we've been educating our clients to do, and this is something that you'll find in the four hour work week. That's a book I highly recommend. I'll put a link down in the description below. And one of the things we've done with our clients is help them understand that we now only check our emails at nine o'clock in the morning and at midday, and then perhaps at four o'clock as well. So they understand that they're not necessarily going to get a response straight away. This means I don't have to live in my inbox, which you know is, is a habit. And this is some th something I still break very often. I still forget this and I'll be checking my email at 10 o'clock and I'll be replying and, and scrambling around and getting all stressed out. And then I remember, no, wait a minute, I need to do this. Nine o'clock, 12 o'clock, four o'clock. There are my three times a day that I am going to be checking email. And I'll also have days off as well where I'll set an out of office to explain that I've got no access to email for that day. So please expect a response the following day because this helps manage people's expectations. People should not be expecting instant replies to emails all the time. And again, by instantly replying to that email, 
you're breaking your concentration from whatever the project is at hand. Just taking yourself away from some code or something that you are working on for that very moment can absolutely take your mind off what is going on and you're gonna to have to get yourself back into that project to try and work out where you were and it just drains time. So I will always put the phone on silent, I will turn it over so I can ignore it now and I will get on with whatever it is for the 20, 30 minutes that I wanna super focus and then I can check my phone and see what's going on. So these are the things that we are doing in our agency to really help manage communication. There's lots more that we could unpack, but I think this should be a conversation. So how about you let us know what you do to try and get control of the communications that are going on in your business. How do you stop the communication overflow and how do you focus on what you need to focus on while still enabling your customers to feel like they've got a good line of communication with you and a good understanding and a clear um, concept or uh, understanding of their projects as well because that is super important. So let's have that conversation. Comments below. If you want to keep that conversation a bit more private, head on over to the Facebook group on wpinnovator.com forward slash group. We've got a great podcast, wpinnovator.com forward slash podcast. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you give it a thumbs down, that would be really mean because, hey, you know, boo. And uh, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe. We are still in Vader. That's vlog every day in August. So please expect a video tomorrow. Have a brilliant day.